Hey, hello. It's saying that it's gonna tell my followers that I've started a live video, so I'm just gonna wait a couple of minutes. Um, if you can hear me, please say hey, and let me know that you can hear me pretty good. Um, when I do go into the tutorial, I will be moving the iPad around, so it will change here in a minute. I won't be doing the tutorial like this. But I'm so glad that you're joining, hey. Can let me know where you're from too. That would be really awesome. If you wanna say like, hi, I'm from NC. Like me, I'm in North Carolina. Hello. I see that my nephew and my twin sister just joined in. So I'm, hey, I'm glad to see y'all. I'm glad to see everybody coming in. <clears throat> Okay, if you're just joining in and you're going to want to crochet along, make sure you have everything that you need. You'll need medium four weight yarn in yellow and orange or any colors you want. Today I'll be using yellow and pink. I like this color combination for my little sunshine. You'll also need a 4.0 millimeter G hook, some scissors, a darning needle, some a little amount of polyfill stuffing and a stitch marker, and then optional for safety eyes and some embroidery floss so that you can give it a little smile if you would like. Hello, I'm so glad to see everybody. I hope you can hear me fine. Um, before I get into the tutorial, I would like to, to um, say why I'm here. Hello, thank you all for joining in for my stream for Starlight. The Starlight Children's Foundation and their mission statement is to deliver happiness to seriously ill children and their families. So I'm going to tell y'all a little bit about Starlight Foundation and then I'll get into the tutorial. Okay, so <clears throat> Stream for Starlight is a month-long virtual campaign created by Starlight Children's Foundation. It unites businesses, influencers, gamers, and individuals to stream content and raise money to deliver happiness to seriously ill kids. Stream for Starlight takes place in September in honor of Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. The goal of Stream for Starlight is to raise money for these sick kids. You can go to the link in my bio to donate. My personal goal is $100. I would love to reach that goal for these kids and to help bring some more happiness, some reasons why you should donate. Starlight Children's Foundation has been since 1982. They are groundbreaking and innovative programs like Starlight Virtual Reality, Starlight Hospital Wear, and Starlight Gaming. They've impacted 16 million kids at more than 800 children's hospitals across the U.S. Every minute a child is in need of medical care. Starlight has delivered over 1,300 Starlight virtual reality headsets to hospitals loaded with special content that has transformed the hospital experience for over 18,000 kids. More than 260,000 soft, colorful, and comfortable Starlight hospital gowns have been distributed. Hello Starlight, thank you so much for watching. 7,200 Starlight gaming stations loaded with top Nintendo games specially designed for the hospital have delivered happiness to more than 11 million kids. That is amazing, just amazing. Hospitalized kids have received nearly 13 million in books, toys, games, arts, and crafts, and other toys through Starlight Deliveries. Okay, um, when I was a kid, I had to have some surgeries. The very first one, I had to stay overnight in the hospital, and it was on December 19th. It was Christmas time, and I remember being so, so upset and sad and lonely, and a Santa Claus came around and delivered a package to me. It had a little stuffed animal in it and some coloring books and games, and that just made my hospital stay so much more amazing and happy. It brought some happiness to me, and that is what Starlight Children's Foundation does, and I think that they are absolutely amazing. And like I said, I have a link in my bio if you'd like to go donate. And like I said, my personal goal is $100, and I would love to hit that for these sick kids. They deserve some happiness while they're in the hospital and while they're battling all this horrible stuff that they have to go through. Alrighty, so now let's get into the tutorial to make this 
little guy. I hope that you have all the materials. Like I said, let's go through the materials one more time. <clears throat> you need medium four weight yarn in two colors. I'm using sugar and cream yarn that Mary Maxim sent me specially for this event. You also need a size G 4.0 millimeter crochet hook. And thank you to Furls for sending me this hook for this event. I'm so excited. This is a cool hook and I'm ready to use it. It's so pretty. Okay. You also need some darning needles, scissors, a small amount of polyfiber fill, a stitch marker, um, which I actually forgot to bring in here. So I guess I will be using a little amount of yarn for Oh wait, no, I found a stitch marker, yay. <laughs> okay, you'll also need optional safety eyes and embroidery floss for the smile. Um, and I think that's it. So if you're ready to get started, I'm gonna move the iPad. I should still be able to see comments, but I've made a little contraption to help me get the angle right. So I'm gonna move everybody down and let's get started making the little sunshine. Bye bye for now. Okay, I should be able to. How do I switch it around? Okay, here we go. I still can see the comments. Let me know if I'm a little too loud because I'm very close to the iPad mic, I think. I hope I'm not too loud. But if you can hear me good, say hey. Let me know where you're from. That's always so neat to see. And I'm going to start with some yellow yarn. If you're following along with the pattern, it says to make a loose slip knot or a magic ring. So you can make either one that you would like. Thank you so much for letting me know how I sound. Um, so now you can start your um, amikurami however your personal preference is. I just start with a slip knot. I call it a loose slip knot. So I just go like that. And there's my tail end. And then I just flip this little guy over. And then you can scoop up that center yarn with your hook. And just lightly pull on that. Because now I'm just going to hold it like this. And chain one. And now I'm going to work into the loose slip knot. But like I said, if you want to start with a magic ring or whatever, you can go right ahead. So now we are going to put six single crochets into the loose slip knot or magic ring. So one, two, three, four, five and six and now you can pull on the tail end close that hole in the center <clears throat> and now you can place your stitch marker okay <clears throat> sorry about that now we're going to put two single crochets into each stitch around if you're unsure about which one is your beginning stitch, you can always count back. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that first one can be a little hard to get in sometimes, but there we go. So we're gonna put two single crochets into each stitch around. I 
do apologize if I'm all over the place. Um, this is the first time I've filmed with my iPad and this little contraption that we made out of PVC pipes. <laughs> Try to get y'all a little show at the end of what my setup looks like. So we're just continuing to put two single crochets into each stitch around. Okay, so now at the end of this row, you should, or round, you should have 12 stitches. <clears throat> now for the next round, we're going to put a increase in the next stitch and then a single crochet in the next stitch. And that is going to be our repeat all the way around. So let's move the stitch marker. Now in the next stitch, we are going to put two single crochets into this stitch. One single crochet into the next stitch. And we're going to continue that around. So now two single crochets in the next stitch. One single crochet in the next stitch. Two single crochets in the next stitch. <clears throat> One single crochet in the next stitch. Two single crochets in the next stitch. One in the next. Two single crochets in the next. One single crochet in the next stitch. Two single crochets in the next stitch. And one single crochet in the last stitch. And now at the end of this round, you should have 18 stitches and now the last round for the middle Just a second hard to get this I don't use this stitch marker hardly ever anymore and I'm having trouble getting it on there we go okay so now for the next round, it's going to be, the repeat will be two single crochets in the next stitch, single crochet in the next two stitches. And we'll repeat that all the way around. So in this next stitch, we're going to put two, one, two, three, and now in the next two stitches, just one single crochet. And like I said, I'm very sorry for being all over the place. This is a new setup that I'm trying out and I'm not used to it at all. Okay, so now two single crochets in the next stitch. One in the next two stitches. Two single crochets in the next stitch. One single crochet in the next two stitches. I see that one of my friends just joined. Hey, Yarn Geek, Ginger. And now two single crochets in the next stitch. One 
one single crochet in the next two stitches. Two single crochets in the next stitch. One single crochet in the next two stitches. Two in the next stitch. And one single crochet in the last two stitches. Alrighty, and that is the end for the first circle. So now I'm just going to cut my yarn. Pull it through that last stitch. And now we can go ahead and take our darning needle and make an invisible join. Now I'm just going to take this, skip this stitch right here. This is the last stitch made. So we're going to skip this one and go through both loops on this stitch. Pull it. Not too tight because you want it to line up with this one. And then in that last stitch made, go through just the back loop. And pull it a little and that makes a beautiful invisible join so now you can weave in the ends on this circle oops <laughs> try that again Pull that tight again and then I just weave it through a couple around this to close that hole really good sometimes one's good enough too I'm just going to knot that off and then I'm just going to cut these short since it is an Omega Romy and it will be hidden. No reason to do anything else to that. Now let's make one more circle. <clears throat> now using your yellow yarn again, let's make another loose slip knot or magic ring. Circle, flip, and scoop. Pull loose, hold, chain one, and now put six single crochets in one, two, three. Four, five, and six. Hey, Amy from Starlight. Thank you so much for walk watching, and thank y'all so much for letting me do this. Okay, so now the end of round one. You can pull that tail end to close the hole. Make sure you have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now we're going to place our stitch marker. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now for round two, we're going to put two single crochets in each stitch around. Oops, let's go through both loops. 
I said this first stitch can be kind of difficult sometimes, but there we go. I got it in. Now two single crochets in each stitch around. Now at the end of round two, you should have 12 single crochets, 12 stitches all the way around. So let's move our stitch marker. And now for round three, it's two single crochets in the next stitch and single crochet in the next stitch. That is our repeat. So we're gonna do that all the way around. So two single crochets in this next stitch. one single crochet in the next stitch two single crochets in the next stitch one single crochet in the next stitch two single crochets in the next stitch one single crochet in the next stitch two single crochets in the next stitch one single crochet in the next stitch two single crochets in the next stitch one single crochet in the next stitch two single crochets in the next stitch and one single crochet in that last stitch now at the end of this round you should have 18 stitches and we'll move our stitch marker. And now the last round for this circle. The repeat will be two single crochets in the next stitch and single crochet in the next two stitches. And we'll repeat that all the way around. So two single crochets in that next stitch. and one single crochet in the next two stitches. Two single crochets in the next stitch. One single crochet in the next two stitches. two single crochets in the next stitch one single crochet in the next two stitches two single crochets in the next stitch One single crochet in the next two stitches. Okay, two single crochets in the next stitch. One 
one single crochet in the next two stitches. Two single crochets in the next stitch. And one single crochet in the last two stitches. Now we're um, going to take out our stitch marker. Okay, so now we're going to cut the yarn and pull through the last stitch just like the other circle. And then we'll make an invisible join again. There's the last stitch. So we're going to skip over this stitch and go through both loops from front to back. Pull it to where it just overlaps that stitch. And now in that last stitch made, go in just that back loop. And pull it so that it covers that stitch. And it looks like this. And now we can weave in the ends real quick. I should have gotten my pointy darning needle. I should have gotten my pointy darning needle. But instead I have this dull one. I'm just trying to get it knotted off. Since it, like I said, since it's a mega rummy, I don't worry too much about the ends. I just want to get them secured. Amigurumi, however you say that. I'm from the South, so I say amigurumi. Okay. Now we've got two circles. Um, at this point, if you would like, you can add safety eyes to the front of one of these circles and a little smile. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and jump ahead and just make the sun today. If you joined in late and you were only able to make one circle, you can still follow along and make an applique instead of an amigurumi. So let's get these finished up and attached to each other. So I've got the right side facing on the top one and on the bottom one I have the wrong side facing and I'm just gonna sandwich those together and line up the stitches now I'm going to insert my hook through a stitch on the front circle and through a stitch in the back circle. So now you can use your second color. It's orange or white. I'm using pink today. I like this com color combination. I think it's really pretty. So we're going to yarn over your hook with the new color and then we are just going to pull up a loop. Ta-da! And now while you're holding the two circles together we're going to be working through a stitch on each circle all the way around or through both stitches on both circles all the way around so that it will attach it. And about halfway through, we'll start stuffing it. So now we are going to slip stitch to the next stitch. Just pop that through all these loops like that. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and then pull through the loop on the hook to create the slip stitch. 
Now we are going to put a single crochet and a double crochet into the next stitch. Next stitch, insert your hook, make a single crochet, and then we're going to make a double crochet in that same stitch. Working through both circles. So we've got a single crochet and a double crochet in that stitch. Now we're going to chain two. And now we're going to slip stitch into that first chain right here. Okay. And now we're going to put a double crochet and a single crochet into the next stitch. So now I'm going to put a double crochet and a single crochet. And we've made our first little point of the sun. So now slip stitch to the next stitch. And now we're going to repeat that all the way around. Give me just one second. I need a sip of water right quick. I'm so sorry. Give me just one second. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. Alrighty. Sorry. Alrighty. So we just made a slip stitch into the next stitch. Now we're going to put a slip stitch into the next stitch. And now we're going to put a single crochet and a double crochet into the next stitch. And now chain two and slip stitch to the first chain. And now in the next stitch, it's going to be a double crochet and a single crochet. And now we're going to slip stitch to the next stitch. And now we're going to slip stitch to the next stitch. And the next stitch we're going to put a double crochet and a single crochet. I mean a single crochet and then a double crochet. crochet and a double crochet and now chain two and slip stitch to that first chain and 
and now a double crochet and a single crochet in the next stitch. Now we're going to slip stitch to the next stitch and slip stitch to the next stitch. Now in the next stitch, we're going to put a single crochet and then a double crochet. Now chain two and slip stitch in that first chain. Now in the next stitch, it's going to be a double crochet and then a single crochet. <clears throat> Oops. Get that last. You redo that single crochet. Split the yarn. Okay, there we go. Now a single crochet. And now at this point, I like to put a small amount of stuffing in it. I don't stuff mine very much, just a little bit. And you can always add a, a little bit more stuffing at the very end. So now we're going to make a slip stitch into the next stitch. And a slip stitch into the next stitch. Now we're going to put a single crochet and a double crochet into the next stitch. Now chain two and slip stitch to that first chain. Okay, now in the next stitch it's going to be a double crochet and then a single crochet. And now a slip stitch in the next stitch. Make sure your stuffing doesn't come out. Another slip stitch in the next stitch. And now a single crochet and a double crochet into that next stitch. Excuse me if you heard me burp, I'm sorry. Okay, now we're gonna chain two and slip stitch in that first chain. Now in the next stitch, we're going to put a double crochet and a single crochet. And then we're going to put a slip stitch into this last stitch. Now you can cut the yarn and pull it through the end, the last stitch made. Now 
And I just take my crochet hook and I stick it through and pull that through. And now you can weave in your ends and you have a cute little sun amigurumi like this one. So now I'm going to jump back on real quick. Well, I guess if you want to see, this was my setup. I just had a PVC set up and I just sat my iPad right here. Let me move that. Okay, so we finished making our cute little sunshine mirrorami. Thank you so much to everybody that joined in. Again, if you would like to donate to Starlight, please go to the link in my bio. My personal goal is $100, and I really hope that we can reach that goal and help these sick kids bring some smiles to their faces. Um, a couple of things real quick if you missed the beginning. Stream for Starlight is a month-long virtual campaign created by Starlight Children's Foundation. Um, they, uh, in 1982, Starlight's groundbreaking and innovative programs like Starlight Virtual Reality, Starlight Hospital Wear, and Starlight Gaming have impacted 16 million kids at more than 800 children's hospitals across the U.S. Every minute a child is in need of medical care, Starlight has delivered over 1,300 Starlight Virtual Reality headsets to hospitals loaded with special content, and they've to transform the hospital experience for over 18,000 kids. More than 260,000 soft, colorful, and comfortable Starlight Hospital gowns have been distributed. 7,200 Starlight gaming stations loaded with top Nintendo games specially designed for the hospital have delivered happiness to more than 11 million kids. Hospitalized kids have received nearly 13 million in books, toys, games, arts, and crafts, and other toys through Starlight Deliveries. They're a really wonderful organization, foundation, if you haven't heard of them before. And if you would love to donate, please do. The link is in my bio. And thank y'all again for joining in for my stream for Starlight. And thank you so much for the Starlight Children's Foundation for contacting me and asking me to do this. It was a lot of fun to put this together. And I'm just so happy and thrilled that I was able to do this. I hope that y'all have a wonderful, happy day, and happy crocheting. Bye, y'all.